Hi, Deborah and Val. Greetings from a ridiculously hot central Pennsylvania. I have a lot less report this week than I did during after week nine. I haven't found a new guru yet who works as a mutual fund uh, manager, so I haven't been able to talk to a person about that aspect of my business. I hope to do that by week 14. Uh, I did talk to 10 new customers this week, and I had a chance to sit with them as a group. They were students of mine, so I had them trapped in the classroom. I was able to talk to them about my business idea, and overall, they liked it. They were very positive, and they seemed somewhat interested. Uh, one person who was a previous day trader, though, was and didn't do very well, uh, was not quite as thrilled with the thought. Uh, I didn't trade this week because they were here, so I don't have much more to add about how my overall performance is doing. There is one change to the business model canvas this week. The data indicated that this group of, of potential customers would be interested in learning how to day trade themselves. So education is now back on the business model canvas as a potential source of revenue. Previously, I had rejected that idea because previous groups did not seem that they would be interested. Um, I'm still not convinced it's a good idea. I think that education will come along with our sales pitch, and we will use that to inform our clients to show that we have a worthwhile product. Maybe later we could do an education for advanced or experienced traders, and, and maybe that way we could get some more people involved and people who might actually pay for education vice the sales pitch, and that might lead to clients as well. So it's back on the business model canvas in blue, but I'm still not convinced that this is an avenue that we should explore. From the get-go, I knew the success of this business was going to center on our ability to execute the trading strategy. I knew there would be opportunities to get new customers, but I always knew that finding new actual revenue streams was going to be difficult. Even if we switched and started to trade different funds or different stocks, it was still fundamentally the same business plan, and it was still going to center on finding customers who are interested in, in day trading and or options trading, really it's options trading. So this week I tried to stay away from questions that, that led to growing the customer pool and tried to focus on the one place where I can know, where we know we can increase revenue, and that is to get the clients we have interested in opening second, third, or even fourth accounts. The good news this week is that my customers are interested in the business. They thought it was a good idea, and they did show that if they subscribed, and we did well, they would be open to opening multiple accounts. In my group discussion, they all seemed to be very excited by the idea, and they liked the returns if we could get them, obviously, but then who wouldn't? The problem is that my gurus are all certified financial planners, and their business relies on them selling more products, so bonds, stocks, insurance, what have you. But we don't plan on doing that. In fact, I don't want to be a certified financial planner, so that avenue of revenue isn't really open to me. Truthfully, I'm just not interested in pursuing that. That leaves me three avenues that I could follow. One is to do a percentage of anything we make greater than the percent of return that we advertise. Well, that changes this, the legal requirements of our business, so that one's out. The second one, of course, is to just charge more. That may turn some clients away, but if your performance means that you earn it, then somebody will pay it and you can get more money per, per person. Uh, and the last thing that we can do is to get, as I said, a client to open more accounts. And this is where we're really focusing. The 25% is a return that we believe we can get consistently. As I said, we have been doing better than that for the, for the past year. So this is really where I need to focus my efforts. Bottom line, though, is it just sticks to performance. If we can get the numbers that we tell people that we will get, they are very open to opening additional accounts, including their family and friends and what have you. In fact, the ones who worked in business said that they would even consider opening business commercial accounts if the return is there. So the business idea is still sound. Uh, I didn't get a lot of new ideas this week about new ways to get revenue. The ideas we had are either ones that I'm just not interested in or I just can't legally do. So a bit of a downer that way this week. I don't know that I really learned a ton, but the, the idea of the value proposition is still strong. So we're looking good there. All right, that's all I have. See you next time.